Graduation will look a little different this year for several Richmond City schools. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. Changes being made to the graduation day process were revealed earlier this afternoon. 8 News reporter Alexis Bellamy joining us now live from Huguenot High School. And Alexis, what do students and their families need to know before arriving to graduation? And why are the changes happening? Well, Eric, Deanna, good evening. Some of those changes include the use of metal detectors, heightened security, and even a change in those graduation ceremony locations. Now, we know that these changes were coming from city schools. Huguenot High School, as well as several other Richmond City schools, can expect to see these changes at graduation this year. Take a look at your screen. This is the scene from the shooting outside Huguenot High School's graduation ceremony last year. A tragedy Richmond school leaders are trying to avoid happening again, putting new restrictions in place. On June 6, 2023, 18-year-old graduate Sean Jackson and his stepfather, Lorenzo Smith, were shot to death after the ceremony at the Altria Theater. Although investigators found the guns at the scene did not go inside of the Altria. This year, school leaders are only allowing graduation attendees a small clear plastic bag for their items. And the venues themselves for the ceremonies have also changed. This year, ceremonies for Open High School, Richmond Community High School, Franklin Military Academy, and Richmond Virtual Academy will be at Virginia Union University and will happen on May 29th. Ceremonies for Huguenot, John Marshall, Thomas Jefferson, Richmond High School for the Arts, and Armstrong High School will be at the Greater Richmond Convention Center on May 31st. According to RPS, there will also be something called dedication rooms at all venue locations. The rooms will come with a counselor just in case any graduate or a guest starts to get nervous or anxious during the ceremony. It was also mentioned today that there will be two more meetings on these changes before these graduations are expected to take place. Leaders will address any and all additional safety concerns when it comes to their students. You can find out more on these changes in this story online at WRIC.com. For now, reporting live in Richmond tonight, Alexis Bellamy, 8 News.